Today, I want to talk to you about three different ways you can record your drum kit depending on what budget you have. Let's be honest here, musicians aren't typically known for being wealthy or having a lot of money. And it also just so happens to be that music is such an expensive hobby, it costs a lot for gear and even more for recording equipment as well. Not only do you have to buy multiple mics or mic sets for your drum kit, you also need a big enough interface to actually deal with the amount of mics you use. So I'm going to give you three different ways you can mic up your drum kit depending on what budget you have to still make your kit sound good for what you do. The first way and the cheapest way to mic up your drum kit is the one mic technique and this involves preferably using a large condenser mic placing it about six foot away from the kit directly at it in mono. The downside is this won't have a stereo effect you won't be able to mix this to left and right when you come to editing the recording. Another big downside is the fact that you won't be able to control individual levels if you kick snare and toms and overheads because they're all going into one single mic. However, as I mentioned earlier, this is the cheapest and also the easiest way to mic up your drum kit and it still can sound pretty good for a bog standard drum cover that you may be putting onto Instagram. The second kind of micing technique is with four mics and this includes a mic on the kick a mic on the snare top and two overhead mics. To achieve this you'll need two dynamic mics, one for your kick, one for your snare and two large diaphragm condensers or condenser pencil mics. Because your kick and snare are your main driving forces as a drummer it's really helpful in this case that you get to mic them both up individually so then you have control over the sound of each one and the levels as well. You then have the two overhead mics which will be mainly focused on picking up your overheads, your cymbals, your hat and your toms as well. This will give you a much more professional sound than the one mic technique. It's still not perfect but it's going to be a little bit better for drum covers. I still don't think this will be enough for you to deliver remote recording work to other clients but for recording covers this is more than ideal. The downside of this technique is that generally the toms and the overheads cover a large amount of the frequency spectrum. This means it can be really hard to EQ the toms and the overheads independently in these overhead tracks. The last micing technique I want to talk to you about is the 8 mic technique and this is typically going to get you the most professional sound but at the same time it's going to be the most expensive. Not only will you need 8 mics but you're going to need a big interface with at least 8 mic inputs for you to handle those 8 mics. So essentially you're going to be micing up the kick, the snare, two toms, either a third tom or your hat depending on how many toms you use. You've got your two overheads and a room mic. If you're not too bothered about a room mic, you can always exchange that to record the bottom of the snare if you want some more crispiness in the snare recording. Like I mentioned earlier, this is not the cheapest setup, but you can still get a decent quality recording setup for a decent price. And then you can control each aspect of your drum kit individually and independently which then in turn out of all these options offers you the most professional sound and means that you can then go on to deliver remote recordings for other clients. Not to mention as well your covers will sound extremely professional using this setup, much more so than the one and four mic technique. If you're watching this video because you haven't bought a mic setup yet and you're figuring out which setup you want and which setup is for you, then I'm going to link some helpful blog articles below for you. These are going to be two articles. One is about different interfaces depending on your budget and one is on professional mics on a budget as well. This means once you choose which setup you want from this video you can go into those blog articles and pick and choose which interface and which mics are right for you for your setup and for your budget. It's been a fairly quick video today but I hope it's been helpful to you and if you have any other suggestions on topics you want me to cover then please comment below. Feel free to drop me a subscribe as well, just click that button underneath this video and thank you very much for watching, I'll see you very soon.